Greetings from Indus Valley Public School, Rat. Welcome to e-learning class of English, class 9th, where we will be doing a topic from Moments, lesson number 10, and the name of the lesson is The Beggar. This lesson is written by Anton Chekhov. Children, in this lesson, we will find three main characters. One is beggar, other is Sergi, an advocate, and her maid or cook, whose name is Olga. Children, in this lesson, we will find a story of a beggar who is being transformed from a beggar to a good person. We will be seeing how it happened. Some people get into bad habits and find it difficult to quit on their own. Compassion, concern and care from fellow humans go a long way in reforming such people. There is always hope for a renewed and better life if one gets kindness from others. That means if a person is bad and that person get care and concern from other person, then there are chances that a particular person can change himself and become a good person. So we will be seeing how it happened with the beggar. The same is shown in the story through Lashov, a beggar. He earns a little by telling lies and thus evoking sympathy in his listeners. One day he come across Sergi, who does not give him arms, but offers to give him work. Lashov is a weak and unwilling to do the laborious job of chopping wood. But the job is somehow done. He gives up begging. Years later, when Sergei comes across Lashov, he is no longer a beggar but a respectable notary. Then he discloses the fact that it was Sergei's maidservant who had chopped the wood for him. This fact of her kindness and influence him so much that his whole life was changed. So now this is the introduction. Now coming towards the lesson exp explanation. Kind sir, have pity. Turn your attention to a poor hungry man. So now this beggar is saying to have the attention for himself from Sergi. Let's see what all things he used to say. For three days I have had nothing to eat. I haven't five kopeck for a lodging. I swear it before God, for eight years I was village school teacher and then I lost my place through intrigues. I fell a victim of clowny. It is a year now since I have had anything to do. So now what happened? What do you mean by kopecks? It's a Russian coins like we have passe. So it also have Russian coins. So now this man is begging for monetary arms, monetary help. He said that he had not eaten anything for how many days? Three days. He did not even have five kopecks to pay a room rent so that he can spend the night over there. He also swore by God that he speaks everything correctly. Whatever he is speaking, it is true. He had also told that he was a school teacher in a school village for eight years. But... He lost his job due to the conspiracy from his colleagues. Whatever something was there that made him out of the institution. For last one year, he did not have any work. So, he is begging for money. The advocate, Sergei, looked at the ragged, fawn-colored overcoat of the suppliant and his dull drunken eyes at the red spot on either cheeks and it seemed to him as if he had seen this man somewhere before. So now what happened? This uh, advocate, he started looking at Sergi and at his overcoat, whatever he was wearing. The beggar had dull and drunken eyes. His, uh, he was having red spot on both the cheeks and Sergei was somehow feeling that he already met this fellow somewhere. He is recalling. I have now had an offer of a position in the province of Kaluga and mendicant went on. But I haven't the money to get there. 
help me kindly i am ashamed to ask but i am obliged to by circumstances so now this beggar he is telling that he is having a job in kalunga that is in russia but what happened he did not have money to travel to such place but he is feeling ashamed for asking monetary help but what he can do he is like it is a circumstances that is forcing him to do so sergey eyes fell on the men's overshoes one of which was high and other low and he suddenly remembered something so now what happened this advocate he saw men's shoes and both of them having different level one was high and other was low then he immediately recalled where he had seen such a person and he saying that look here it seems to me i met you day before yesterday in server the street he said but you told me then that you were a student who had been expelled and not a village school teacher do you remember that so now this uh, advocate he immediately recalled where he had seen that fellow and he told that ki he had already met this person day before yesterday at sarvoday street where at sarvoday street and that time this beggar told that he was not a school teacher but he was a student and he was removed from that particular institution for not for some reason from his school teacher and that time he is telling the beggar do you remember that sarvoday ka meet where you told me that you are a school student not a teacher no no that cannot be so mumble the beggar taken aback i am a village school teacher and if you like i can show you my papers so now this beggar was shocked and spoke softly that it is not possible that i am only a school teacher i am not a student if you want the, to prove me that i am a school teacher then i will show you my document as a proof then have done with lying you call yourself a student and even told me what you have been expelled for don't you remember so now what happened author is saying that ki he is lying enough and he had added to the beggar and told that he was a student and even he was expelled from the institution he has also told the reason for being uh, removing from the school but now he is not recalling so he again and again affirming with that he do you remember this thing you have told me so uh, sergey was getting angry sergey flushed and turned from ragged creature with an expression of disgust now the sergey he is was full of anger and he turned away from the beggar in a disgusted look this is dishonesty my dear sir he cried angrily this is swindling i shall send the police for you damn you so now what is swindling means cheating a person for money so now um this thing no sergey an advocate he screamed at the beggar for his dishonesty and he was telling if you are going to continue with the cheating uh, for the money to the people then he is going to call the police and he will hand over him to the police so he said laying his hand on his heart the fact is i was lying i am neither a student nor a school teacher all that was fiction formerly i sang in a russian choir and was sent away for drunkenness but what else can i do i can't get along without lying no one will give me anything when i tell the truth what can i do so now what happened this beggar he accepted that he whatever he was saying it was not correct it was a lie then he is telling the fact that he was a, a singer in a russian troupe where he used to sing song but he was removed from that uh, choir because he was having habit of drinking but now he is telling to the uh, sergey that what should i do if i do not tell lie to the people then nobody is going to show sympathy and they are not going to give me monetary help so this is only the way i can earn my survival what can you do you ask what you can do cried sergey coming close to him work that's what you can do you must work now sergey again screamed when he saying what should i do then sergey immediately said just think and think what you can do and 
for the reason you can only do work so start working rather than asking monetary help or sympathy from the people work yes i know that myself but where can i find work so now beggar is saying that yes i know from myself that i can work but who is going to give me work how would you like to chop wood for me so now uh, this thing uh, Sergi is asking would you like to work for me and you will be chopping the wood for me then he is saying that i wouldn't refuse to do that but in these days even skilled woodcutters find themselves sitting without bread now beggar he is saying that i can chop i am willing to chop wood but that even skilled woodcutter were out of work matlab jo skilled they don't need technologies हायर की हुई है जिनके पास है टेक्नोलॉजी कटिंग के लिए तो स्किल्ड लेबर्स आर देयर हु इज विद हु वुड एम्प्लॉय हिम फॉर इट तो इतने स्किल्ड लेबर है इतने स्किल्ड वुड कटर है देन हु इज गोइंग टू आस्क मी फॉर कटिंग द वुड पीपल विल प्रेफर टू हैव अ स्किल पीपल विल यू कम एंड चॉप वुड फॉर मी अगेन सर इज आस्किंग आई यू गोइंग टू कम एंड यू आर गोइंग टू चॉप द वुड देन द बेगर इज सेंग दैट ये सर आई विल do that he is saying okay fine i'm coming and i'll do that very well we will soon find out so now there uh, this thing sir sergi is saying it okay fine i'll give you some area to do the work sergi hasten along rubbing his hand he called his cook out of the kitchen so he immediately means uh, sergi he immediately called uh, her maid his maid from the kitchen and told that what to do here here olga he said take this gentleman into the wood shed and let him chop wood so now sergi he called his maid from the kitchen and told ki olga just take this fellow man towards the place where he can find wood you can say wood shed and ask him to chop the wood so now he has been given with the work so children in the next video we will be seeing how this beggar is going to change himself thank you for watching the video and wait for the next video thank you so much